Alright, so now we're going to talk about the nested calculations in Tableau. In Tableau, you can nest calculations by using the result of one calculation as an input for another calculation. And that's because sometimes you might be in a situation where we have complicated calculations with different steps. So for each step, we're going to have one calculation. So as you are implementing those steps, you're going to end up having multiple calculations and they're going to be nested inside each other's. So now let me show you an example. Alright, so now we're going to go and create a new calculated field to manipulate the values of the field country to have specific format so in this example let's take the first name of the customers and as well the countries now we're going to go and create a new field for the country with different format so let's go and create a new calculated field and then we're going to start with the first calculation where we're going to make all the letters of the field country with the upper case so we're going to have upper function and then we're going to manipulate the field country so we're going to start writing country and here it is our field. So that's it for the first calculation. Let's go and hit OK. So with that tab, we're going to go and create a new calculated field, new dimension inside our data source. So let's go and check the values. As you can see, all the letters, all the countries are with the uppercase. All right. So now we're going to move to the next step in the transformation where we want to show only the first three characters of each values inside this new calculated field. So in order to do that, we're going to go back to our calculated field and we're going to edit it. And this time we're going to use the function lift so you can go and search in the catalog to see the syntax of the lift function as you can see it accept two fields the first one is going to be the string that we want to manipulate and then we're going to have the number of characters that we want to show so let me show you now step by step how we can do that let's go first to a new line so we're going to have left and then it needs two arguments the field that we want to manipulate and the number of characters the field that we want to manipulate is going to be the result of the upper function so it's going to be this one over here so i'm going to just cut it and insert it over here. So with that, we have the first argument. The second argument is gonna be the number of characters that you want to show. It's gonna be three characters. That's why we're gonna specify three. So this is how we can nest functions in Tableau. The first function to be executed gonna be the one inside. So the upper function gonna be executed first, and then the result of this function gonna be used as an input for the function outside, for the function lift. So that means first, we're gonna go and make all the values inside the country as an upper case. Then we're gonna go and execute the lift function where we're going to show only the first three characters so now let's go and hit apply to check the results with that you can see we have now only three characters inside the values of the country so again the function inside going to be first executed then the function outside and with that you can further expand this calculated field to more functions for example let's say the third step we want to go and calculate the length of the characters and in order to do that we can use the lin function so we're going to add it at the start and then the input of the field gonna be the output of those two functions so as you can see it's very easy to nest functions in tableau let's go and hit apply and check the results as you can see everywhere we have the length of three so again the order of execution gonna be the one just deep inside the upper function then the left function then the last one to be computed is the length function so that's it this is one method on how to create nested calculations in tableau but there is another method on how to do that and that's by creating a second calculated field using the first calculated field let me show you what I mean. So we can go and close this one over here and let's create a new calculated field. So we're going to call it second calculated field. So what we're going to do inside it is to use the output of the first calculated field. In this example, it is the country new. So this is our first calculated field. And then we're going to multiply it with two, for example. So here again, the order of the computation going to be first Tableau has to calculate the first calculated field. So it's going to calculate the upper, left and length. And then at the end, it's going to come over here and multiply it with two. So let's go and hit OK. And with that, we got a new calculated field. Let's drag and drop it on the view. So as you can see, the result is going to have the value of six. So when do I use the first method and when do I use the second method? All right, so I'm going to show you how I usually decide on this. Let's go to the, our first calculation. And as you can see, those intermediate steps, if they are not important, steps like you don't want to use them in any other visualizations then it doesn't make any sense to create for each intermediate steps a new field inside your data source then the data source can explode and you're gonna have a lot of fields that are not necessary so in this situation i'm gonna have all those intermediate steps in one calculations but there are another scenario where you have a very complex calculation where the code gonna be very huge and it's really hard to maintain every 
everything in one calculations. So there I try to split it into steps and each step gonna have like one field in the data source. And the last scenario where those intermediate steps are really important for something else, for different visualizations or maybe as well for any other different calculations. And in order to not repeat myself and doing the same calculations over and over, I go and create a dedicated calculated field for each intermediate steps only if they are important. All right, guys, so that's all for the nested calculations. And that was an introduction to calculations in Tableau. They are really important to make great visualizations. And don't worry, in the next videos, we're gonna learn more and more about calculations in Tableau. All right, so with that, we have learned how to do nested calculations in Tableau. And next, I'm gonna give you an introduction to the four types of Tableau calculations. We have the row level, aggregate, table, and LOD calculations.